Thank you, Wanda. I'm here to request that the Planning Commission call a special meeting for March the 17th to discuss the possible approval of a preliminary plat for the phase two project of the East Bethel Village Apartments. Uh, <clears throat> the apartments? The apartments. Wow. The, this is a kind of a time sensitive issue. We'll actually know probably by the first of next week if the meeting is necessary. I'd like to go ahead and call it because we can save them three weeks. This has to do with them getting all the commitments from their, from their investors so they can proceed forward, then to file all their applications for the building permits, the site plan review, then all the other items necessary so they can proceed. So uh, if you could add that to the agenda and it would be entitled Special Meeting Planning Commission, March 17th, at the hour and time of your choosing. And uh, the purpose is to approve a preliminary plant for East Bethel Village Apartments Phase 2. Do you want to make that number six on our agenda? Make that number six. Right. I have a motion to amend the agenda. So moved. Second. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Approval of meeting minutes from the January 28th meeting. Any additions, any changes, any, I guess it's just Tom, Sherry, and I that were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No? I saw nothing. Can I have a motion to approve the mi minutes? I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from January 28th, 2020. I'll second it. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Item four, the oath of office for our new commissioners, Daryl Lawrence and Jim Smith. If you can stand and raise your right hand and recite your oath. Same <laughs> time, Go ahead, Jim. I, Jim Smith, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the state of Minnesota and faithfully discharge the duties of the member of the city of East Bethel Planning Commission in the county of Anoka and the state of Minnesota for the best of my ability. So help me God. Thank you. Daryl? I, Daryl Lawrence, do sol solemnly affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the state of Minnesota and faithfully discharge the duties as a member of the city of East Bethel Planning Commission in the county of Anoka and the state of Minnesota for the best of my ability. So help me God. Thank you. Right. Congratulations, Yay. Jim. Congratulations, Carol. Welcome. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Item five is a public hearing for an interim use permit. Erin? Uh, this request is for the approval of an interim use permit for the keeping of chickens on a property zoned rural residential. The location is 20350 Jewel Street Northeast, East Bethel, Minnesota, 55092. PIN number 2433-2321-0014. The applicants are Trung and Connie Ha. Uh, they are requesting the IUP for the keeping of chickens on their property. There is a coop on the property for shelter. This property meets the acreage requirements established by city ordinance. This was previously a code enforcement case, which resulted in the IUP application being submitted to the city, and the rooster that had previously been on the property has been removed. Under Chapter 10, Animals, Section 10-151J, Exception, Subpart 2, it notes that a maximum of 10 animals may be kept on a parcel with a minimum of one acre of pasture land without an IUP as long as the other conditions of the code are met for animals requiring 0 .01 acres per animal unit, and then states that keeping of 20 or more animals requires an IUP. Elsewhere in the code, it is stated that all properties under three acres need an IUP for the keeping of chickens. The property owners would like to keep no more than 20 chickens and they meet the acreage requirements by ordinance. The code enforcement complaint was not in regards to the number of chickens solely based on the fact that the rooster, uh, it was solely based on the rooster being on the property, which is no longer there. Um, on the left, you'll see the aerial view of the property. The chickens are located just to the west of the house. And then the, on the location map on the right, you can see approximately where the property is located. 
City staff is requesting the Planning Commission recommend the approval of the city to the City Council for an IUP for the keeping of up to 20 chickens for Trung and Connie Ha at 20350 Jewel Street Northeast, property being 2.46 acres at PID 2433-2321-0014, zoning rural residential with the following conditions. There shall be no roosters on the property. The permit shall expire when the property is sold, the IUP expires or non-compliance of IUP conditions. The property owner shall have 30 days to remove the approved chickens upon expiration of the IUP. Conditions of the IUP may, must be met no later than April 1st of 2020. Failure to meet conditions will result in the null and void of the IUP. The property may be inspected and evaluated annually by city staff. There will be no other farm animals that are governed by the city ordinance kept on this property without the approval of an IUP amendment by city council and applicants must comply with city code section 10 article 5 farm animals and this is a public hearing thank you Aaron. at this time i will open the public hearing anybody who wishes to speak to this come up to the podium please state your name and address please marlon dirk up 20310 jewel street northeast Essentially, I'm two houses away. On the same side of the street? Right here. Oh, on the corner, okay. <clears throat> uh, I think it was the last previous owner put a bad taste in our mouth. Um, he had chickens, uh, approved or not, I don't know. He, um, they were free, free range. They were running around uh, in the street, around the neighborhood, um, which I consider at that point in time, they are uh, open game for dogs or hitting them with your car or truck in the street. Um, he also had, okay, there's a definition here. What is chicken? You have a hen and you have a rooster. Um, everyone should know what roosters do at 4, 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> and that isn't Monday through Friday. That's seven days a week, 365 days a year. <clears throat> so uh, I'm basically here to voice my opinion. I don't care if he has chickens, as long as they're contained on his property. Um, is there anything stating the maximum number that they can have? This, this application is for the keeping of up to 20. They cannot have more than 20 on this property if this IUP is passed. They okay. do already have fencing installed on this property. I drove by to check when it was a code enforcement violation. So that, that has been remedied and I just wanted to let so you know. So you're saying that. the maximum would be 20 without a further hearing or anything? That's correct. Okay. I'm basically against uh, uh, free-running chickens around my yard. Um, some neighbors have a uh, big enough problem with geese that come naturally and uh, destroy their backyard as far as grass, and they leave all kinds of stuff laying around. Uh, the other thing I'm totally against is having any roosters in a residential area. Um, <clears throat> and you know, whether they use these chickens for uh, eggs, meat, I don't care. But don't tell me that you have to have roosters to produce eggs. <laughs> I picked up eggs twice a day on the farm, and we had 6,000 laying hens. They're, they were in cages. They produced for a year, and there were no roosters. Point of clarification for Aaron. This there is a proviso saying no roosters in there, what is up for consideration, correct? The city code, yeah, the, there is a condition on this that they will not be allowed to have roosters, but also as a part of the chicken ordinance, it states that no roosters are allowed on properties that are less than three acres. Thank you. That those were the only two points I had, you know, that they were contained and uh. I like to sleep in on weekends at least. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Sir, would you like to add anything to that? You can come up. I see you live on the same street. That's yeah. what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with them having chickens. It doesn't bother me a bit. Okay. And I'm just a couple of houses north, but across the street. So. Okay. As long as they're not running loose, right? I don't care if they're running loose. It doesn't bother me. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They <laughs> All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have anything to add to this? Okay. At this point, I will close the public hearing. And where am I going from here? Motion. 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 Mm -hmm. It sounds like the, the applicant is going to meet all of the requirements of the IFD. So I would make a motion to approve staff, staff recommendation to allow up to 20 chickens. Do I have a second? I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Um, I do have, let's open this for discussion a little bit. I do have um, a question on this. I also drove by Aaron, and I did not see the chicken coop and fencing. Can you tell me, is it behind the deck? Yeah. Is it under the deck? No. I don't know exactly. Do you know exactly yeah. where it is? Can you, can you show me on that picture there? Right in here. Hard to see it. Because right along there's a fence here. Oh, it's on that side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It must have been moved 15 years ago. That's what it was. Okay. Um, it There's was, trees in front of that there. It was really easy to find when the rooster was still living there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it, I, when I drove by, there wasn't really any like it. it sh there is adequate shelter there. I wasn't concerned that it was older. Um, it it looks like it's in pretty good repair, and the fencing looks like it's pretty a it's adequate for chickens. Anybody else have anything else to add to that? Do either of you know how long? Th this is a new resident here? They no. own the property for eight, I believe, eight years. Eight years, okay. And that house has been here probably yeah. The current resident? Yeah, eight years. Sure. So you both know them and, and, and get along with them. Neighbors are, are beautiful and they're painful. <laughs> uh, trust me, I, I love my neighbors dearly. Um, and I understand every point you made about roosters and about uh, chickens running freely and being a pain and a nuisance. I, I get that. Um, but I think as long as you guys keep in communication and, and work together, it, it's a great thing for everybody. So, uh, yeah. And, and, you know, uh, I'm a firm believer that we give everybody a fair shot. And if they don't follow through with it, uh, I'm, I'm also a firm believer that, uh, you know, we take the uh, actions to remedy the situation where it becomes painful to you or somebody else. So that's all I have. Anybody else? All right. This will go to City Council. You'll need to vote on the... Oh, wait, did you vote on that? I think we voted on it. I did it in the wrong yeah. order. Okay. I did it in the wrong order. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so then this will go to the planning com or the city council meeting on March 9th. March 9th. And they they have the final say. We're just we're a recommendation. We'll not slide this time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The last item on the agenda is um, to add a special meeting. From for the third week of March for the apartments. They need some documentation and things on a timely fashion. Does he's uh, asking for March 17th. Yes. That is St. Patrick's Day. I did say that earlier, but, <laughs> <laughs> but apparently that is what works. Okay. Um, can I move to call a special meeting of the Planning Commission on March 17th? at 7 p.m. for consideration of uh, the preliminary plat phase two of the East Bethel Apartments. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? I'm glad to hear they're going into phase two. And again, we will notify you as soon as we know that we Um, 
City Council updates. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, say congratulations, Gerald and Jim. I'm looking forward to working with you guys on the City Council. It's going to be another busy year, so I, I hope you're ready to rock and roll. So, um, to start my report, uh, the last couple of meetings we approved a preliminary plat for Prairie Pines this past Monday night. Um, they've got Air, uh, Athens, East Bethel on board, so we'll, uh, looks like Mr. Strandland's going to start that this spring. Um, we approved the two variances for 3742 Edmar Lane. That was the deck and the house. Mm -hmm. uh, we renewed, we approved a renewal for an IUP at, for Blackbeard Construction. That's at 2859 200th Avenue Northeast. And then we uh, we tabled two of the four um, tax amendments to the city, the parking and the, uh, the fencing. There was some word revision that a couple council members want to change in there. So. Well, I read something about the pool that you guys had a big discussion about pool fencing, but I thought that was a state ordinance. Well, the, the, yeah, and then well, see, and then there was something about a fee. We want we want to waive that fee on the on that too. So, okay. but uh, Aaron and Stephanie are going to work on that. So, and then uh, lastly is uh, March nineteenth. You know, we have the empty bowl fundraiser at St. Pat's Church from five to seven thirty. And lastly, I uh, received an email last week, uh, March 25th, Cambion Hills is going to have their open house. Um, from 11 to 1, it's going to be elected officials, chamber members, and shareholders. There'll be a ribbon cutting at 12 noon. And then from 1 to 4.30, they're going to have behavioral health, health care, community members, and some other tours. And then the one I, I want to kind of push is from 4.30 to 6.30 is local community members and neighbors. You know, you got you got to get over and see that building. That is a nice building, and just just the way it is. And you know, stop on your way home from work. Yeah, we want everybody to yep. come see. Yeah. So, mark down the twenty fifth, and that's all I have. If you guys, unless you've got some questions, I'll ask. Uh, so I asked last time the Elvich project. Where where is that at? Um, are they making plans? Are they moving forward? The last we discussed was quite a while ago. And it was yeah, they're, they're moving forward. We're we're gonna we're gonna start actually the utilities and the road. Is it late spring, early summer, maybe a little bit later? So I don't think there'll be actually any any building time until maybe late this year or early 2021. Well, I guess my question is is what's going in there because when this was presented to us, it was just initial. And yeah, there's there's like three phases. I think the first the first phase is a, is a commercial part. I. I uh, the developer is presently finalizing some of their phase one plans yeah. and working with Stephanie to get those submitted. Um, we're estimating likely the March uh, planning commission meeting, April at the latest. Yeah, I, just, I don't, I don't want to really say anything so until the plans are, but then there'll be two other phases. So, so nothing's been decided on this project, just no. preliminary at this point. Right. It'll okay. have to come back to you here. Correct. Yeah, yeah just, just, just yeah, yep. you guys will be getting you know, when they start phase one, two, and three, so. Sure. But they are going forward with it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Does anybody have anything else? Aaron? Jack? No? Well, I'll I take move to adjourn. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs>